This is the Adrenaline Drive Time Show with myself, Chiki Kuruka, the Soka Queen, and of course, the original ZJ Heno, the Reggae High Priest. And it's Friday! We are partying hard today. And in order to celebrate our party, we are inviting, you've seen it all over our socials, y'all are excited as we are, a queen. When you think of indignation, when you think of sometime love, when you think of one of the sickest jams mm -hmm. on the rock and groove rhythm. Holland, pull up! When you think <laughs> of nobody, man, there's only one person that can come to mind. Hailing straight out of Jamaica, we would love to welcome Savannah onto the show. Savannah, welcome to the Adrenaline Drive hi. Time show. <laughs> Hi, 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 hi. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. We are so excited. We actually, we have in the background on our website, the imagery from your new video. And can I just say, it's so <laughs> stunning. It is so beautiful. Where did it's you shoot it? I, I, hey. I, actually, I shot, I shot it in Senegal last year. December. Ooh, Ooh it's yeah. beautiful. You can just really yeah. feel that African Thank flavor. You. It looks like a Vogue. The entire so video looks like a Vogue shoot. <laughs> Oh, oh, dope. Thank you so much. You know, I I styled myself with a head wrap because I wanted to honor, you know, our African culture. Um, so I'm just really happy that, it's good. It, you know, people are receiving it in a good way. Yeah, you know? it's stunning. So uh, welcome yeah. once more Thanks. to the show. My name is ZJ Heno. Karibu, karibu sana. We said that in Swahili. So let's just kick off things, karibu, man. Karibu. Yeah. Um, yeah. From from your records, you know, um, a bit too shy up to now. If you only knew, how has the journey been so far for me, Sev? Ooh. Man, it's oh, it's been a journey of self self discovery. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a journey of understanding exactly what I want to sound like, exactly what I want to look like, and just owning that confidence in music. You know, so mm -hmm. I'm just I'm really excited um, too for this upcoming project and how to sound and how to be received. I'm just, I just have a whole heap of energy and I'm, I'm grateful. Um, but it's been one heck of a journey. Yeah, I can sure. imagine. I can imagine. And I feel so many yeah. different energies when I listen to you. Um, specifically, if I'm talking about uh, Nobody Man, when I first heard that, I was yeah. like, this is some Jamaica meets Beyonce energy. Like it is, the undertone is so <laughs> pro-female. <laughs> like it's such a pro-female vibe. Yeah. Was that on purpose? Yeah, man, definitely on purpose um, because I feel like it's important to share different perspectives, you know, that women can have as far as relationships. Mm. And I, I think we're very, very loud, especially Jamaican women, them, where <laughs> we talk about taking a young man. Mm -hmm. So we just want, you know, share the opposite information, the opposite message on that where, you know, it's all right if you don't want to take nobody, man. It's all right if you want to just have your one man. I mean, just, yeah, oh, I love that. It's go all on right. A, go on a journey together. Yeah. We yeah. play we play it kind of shadily sometimes when <laughs> when people are in the building who we know have uh, slid into someone else's DM. We just play that song real loud. Is that? <laughs> um. So uh, the the video for if you only knew you just uh, when the interview began yeah. you said you shot it in Senegal. Um. Have you gotten a chance I to did. perform in the motherland? Uh, you know, in Africa. No, I have not. But I really mm -hmm. want DJs, and I really want to. Yeah, I really yeah. want to. It's like it's one of my goals. Mm -hmm. I really, really want to. I think yeah. you'd be. So I mean, I that know that happen. hopefully it can happen. Sorry, go on. Go ahead. No, I was saying hopefully it can happen next. Oh, I was saying hopefully it can happen next year sometime when you know the, the country open up back and we can travel safely. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, for real, and yeah. and I know Kenya would be so happy to have you here. And if you had fun in Senegal, trust me, we're gonna up the game when you come to the two five four. So really, <laughs> of course, <laughs> that's how we do it. Yeah. So I want to ask because you it, add it, my, one of my best friends. Hold on, sorry, I was just gonna say that one of my best mm -hmm. friends is actually half Kenyan. Her name is Rachel. I from Bigger Up. Mm -hmm. I'm and, you know, she's been one of my best friends, and she speaks Swahili and everything. And she gave me one of the keychains. Yeah. With okay. The, I'm sorry. The, the 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 Kenyan flag on it, and mm -hmm. it's like one of my keepsakes that I have. So. Well, big yeah. up Rachel. Big <laughs> up Rachel. Wherever she dare. <laughs> <laughs> so you act, you model, and you sing, and none of that actually surprises me when mm -hmm. I see your your videos. How do you psychologically prepare yeah. for doing those different things? Is it a different Savannah that we're seeing in the different roles, or is it all the same energy? You know, it's, it's, I just realized that I love art so much. 
right? And and sometimes I feel like the medium that I can choose to express the art, it doesn't have to be music. Like music is my heart and soul. Mm. It's one of the main reasons for me existing right now, like me being alive. Mm. But then I also recognize that film resonates with me and if I can share something that is visually potent and moving, mega do it too. You understand? So mm. it's just a matter of injecting wherever I can express myself and it be effective. Mega just use the medium there because I recognize that I'm not just limited to mm. to just the music, mm-hmm. you know? Mm. So um yeah. would you consider yourself uh, a performing artist like w- do you love performing much or you are the type of you know going to studio me a voice panda ready me know me a creator ready me a voice pan it you know how would you describe <laughs> yourself as an artist you love performing meeting the people them intimacy with the the crowd the massive or you just yeah. want to be in studio yeah. and you know voice while you records and tunes Right, right. I love performing. I love mm. meeting the people. I love sharing that energy on stage. Mm. I also do love creating too. Yeah. You understand? So I'm a love in a studio and and coming up with the songs for the beat and you know adding the ad libs and the and the and the backing vocals. So all of it for me is a joy. But I do especially love being on stage and mm. sharing that energy with the people because it's always special. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, for real, for real. So let's jump yeah. into be yeah. somebody. What an inspiring, uplifting title. Is that something yeah. that you were really conscious yeah. about? You know what, this in this moment, actually, because you must have written it a while ago. So w- what is it that made you feel like, you know what, now is my moment to uplift? You know what? Um, um, you know what it is? I was listening to the first song on the EP. It's called Be Somebody, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then, but did I met, but did I met say, but did write, a poem on Facebook that I published over 10 years ago and the title was Be Somebody. So when I reread that poem, I was like, wait, hold on. It's literally the same story, right? I began it with the poem and then I kind of finished it with the song. So once it clicked to me that, oh, oh, wow, I did actually write a poem over 10 years ago called Be Somebody and realizing how the story connects, Mm. right? I was like, that is it. That's the name of the EP because it's literally about being yourself and knowing that you are somebody regardless of what you have it's not about it's not about riches and material things when i wrote the poem back um over 10 years ago it was about feeling like i was somebody regardless of not having things growing up in poverty and having really really humble beginnings you know mm-hmm. and then the song no on the EP is about being somebody still striving to be somebody um to achieve your goals Mm, right mm. so it's it's just like an extension of the same story and it just felt like i had come full circle on the thought itself right and the messaging so that's how men of choose be somebody as the title for the ep beautiful yeah um you're part of the yeah. indignation collective definitely no leela there I there am. you know um oj there yeah uh, but what's th- this deal yeah. with rca records that uh, you have i mean just specifically speak for for savannah like uh, is this a advantage for you how you feel about it you know what it's it, it definitely an advantage still you know because the mm-hmm. kind of machinery that rca has mm-hmm. right it means that i will yeah it just means that i will be able to get eyes on me that i've never had before because as we know djs i know and tz right i hope i say i'm hope i'm saying your name sorry, <laughs> please forgive me. um yeah but yes as we as we know um you know jamaican music has been inspiring popular music all around the world for how how long now right mm. sure. forever now so it's just a joy to be able to have three Jamaican artists where we can represent the music authentically from a Jamaican perspective. Mm. So to have eyes on us that we've never had before um, and to have people really see, you know, where the sound comes from, where the art is coming from, the source of it is very important. Mm. And I'm very grateful, mm. very, very grateful to have this opportunity and I'm make the best, the best of it. So, you know? I, I love it. And especially yeah. because it allows you as Jamaicans to own the sound rather than being told these are the this is how we want to Jamaicanize a Western sound (laughs) it allows you to own it so rock and groove we have to speak about that it was an all-female rhythm what was it like doing that with your Jamaican sisters it was it was so dope Mm. it was really really nice a really great um, upful vibes in the studio 
um, because we all get along, right? We all, it, the energy is really positive and it was an organic forming like what we have. Mm. Um, I don't know if you see the performance on BBC One Extra with all four yeah. of us performing. <laughs> the 20 many minute times. performance? Yeah. Many times, many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's the energy every single time when we link up. No mm-hmm. life, right? So, mm. you know, it was a joy um, being there, hearing how everybody interprets the beat because all of us kind of just end up writing a different song. Um, but it's just all of it being positive and genuinely um, a, a, a connection that celebrates women. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. That celebrates positive energy amongst women. It just kind of ended up that way. It wasn't, it's not a PR pl- um, plan or a, or, or, or a show mm-hmm. or anything like that. It just, it just really, I think it's just a time for it. And we ended up being the four women to be, you know, some of the some of the people, key people to celebrate, you know, women being together and 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 kind of, you know, ushering ushering in the mm. abolishment of strife and, so, and and chaos between between women artists in Jamaica. You know, mm-hmm. I love it. And as a woman, I definitely felt that. And I like yeah. how you you all came so natural. You had your jeans on. <laughs> you had it wasn't one of those things. Yeah, like, oh, on, yeah shades on, afros good out, sunlight. good sunlight. It was it was just <laughs> exactly. such a joy to watch. <laughs> Yeah, so um, let's just jump into it once more. Um, I I check out your, your singles and the records. They're not on jugglings. They're not on rhythms. Would you say you're much of a singles artist, or you you can get a rhythm and just get featured with more artists on a rhythm? Yeah. I know. I'd love to do more juggling. You mm, know, mm. um, it hasn't been the strategy in my career so far, but mm. especially with Hall and Pull, I'm I'm ready. Mm. You know, I, I definitely want to embrace more of that because. It inspires togetherness like it did with Rock and Groove. Yeah. Mm. First time I experienced anything like that, mm. right? Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm ready to do that. You feel me? It, it is also important for me, though, so, so that, you know, if I get a rhythm, mm. that I really, truly connect with it because more I write honest music, more I write music when we feel like we okay, inspire people. So um, it, it's kind of like wanting to guarantee quality but yeah, definitely yeah. wanting to engage more on juggling you mm, feel me mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i mean we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll take Sorry. we'll take whatever we're given <laughs> <laughs> we're just excited to hear more from savannah <laughs> yeah um, but i have to ask this they call me the soca queen and you have such an r&b vocal behind you mm. and a lot of soca music yeah. a lot of the female vocalists have that kind of r&b over yeah. the top of a mad crazy beat are we going to ever hear savannah on a yeah. soca jam you know, Sam, ready? <laughs> I feel like I can sing on any beat. And actually, and yeah. actually, right? Mm-hmm. For the EP that you're about to hear, mm. I do, none of the vibes are the same, you know? None of the songs Ooh. sound the same. Okay. You understand? So if you only knew, sounds completely different from track number one. That sounds completely different from track number two. Mm. So, you know, I'm definitely singing on, on um, wait name day, different kind of rhythm for this one. There's a, there's a, there's like a reggaeton slash mm. um, African sounding rhythm on there so it's it's an exciting time yeah i'm really really excited for you to hear it yeah all right so uh before we let you leave um we've been describing you as a jamaican artist uh, not only a dancehall reggae soccer artist why do you insist on that you know pinto big shout out to miss pinto man she was like yo hey no you have to make sure say it's jamaican artist (laughs) (laughs) why is that why is that Mm -hmm. Big up to Jamila, um, yeah. Pinto. Yeah, man, I, I just feel like it's important to not only celebrate the, t- you know, two genres out of Jamaica, mm-hmm. but to celebrate all of the different sounds that come out of Jamaica because we actually have 15 different sounds that we've created, mm-hmm. like actual proper genres of music that come out of Jamaica. So it would not be fair, especially as, you know, um, DJ CZ said, where, you know, actually, I don't, you know, it's not just, I don't just embody reggae, right? Mm-hmm. Or I don't just embody dancehall mm-hmm. to get some R&B flavor. I want to just properly represent myself and not be fraudulent and just say, me a one thing, especially yeah. when we create so much sounds, right? Mm-hmm. So me saying I'm a Jamaican artist is just celebrating the fact that we have curated and pioneered so many sounds. And I want to push that forward. Mm. You understand? I love that. that. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. We're, go- we're gonna let yeah. you continue yeah. with the rest of the day. Thank you very much for waking up and talking to us. So yes, thank you so much. Support a hundred percent, man. You know. Y- yes, for sure. Yeah. yeah for sure. Uh, anything? To, anything you, know, you have left out? This is my. 
Um, no, I just want to thank you so much for having me. This is my first African interview from Kenya. Pop, 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 pop. So thank you, thank you so much. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, you can you can have me back again. Yeah. Everybody, look out for the EP. It drops July 31st. It's called Be Somebody. It's six brand new tracks. And I'm just very excited. Thank you very much for having me. Mm. Thank you all right, so Empress, much. Don't you. worry, we're going to be playing all of those jams on High Rotation. All right, no problem. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. You Bless too. up, Sev. Yeah. Live what from Jamaica. A queen. What a mm-hmm. queen. I mean, I love the fact that she's just saying unashamedly, I am celebrating the fact that I am a Jamaican. What? Make sure you do not touch that dial. We've got some good stuff for you on this Adrenaline Show. Vibes Radio. We rule the nation in this generation.